My name is Jamie Quist. I'm an artist here in San Francisco. I've been using the biphasic cuirass for about uh, five years now. Biphasic cuirass ventilation works by using both negative and positive pressures to naturally ventilate the, the patient with the use of a cuirass shell. Before I had the biphasic cuirass, I was tricked for about six years. So I've had health problems all my life mainly with my lungs. I was diagnosed with restrictive lung disease when I was about 18 years old. And unfortunately, it just kind of got worse as I got older. They put me on the, a BiPAP machine for a bit. Unfortunately, it failed. Uh, it was really uncomfortable to use. So the main problem I had uh, was just ventilating. I wasn't able to ventilate. So they switched me to a tracheostomy, which I had for about, I think about six years. And while I was good at first, it unfortunately got really bad by causing a lot of holes throughout my lungs. So I ended up in the hospital, hospital for about th uh, three months. And we were kind of at a point where we didn't really have any uh, choices left. But thankfully we found out about um, Hayek and the biphasic cuirass kind of just lived back to my normal life. Uh, I mainly use the shell for at nighttime, um, just breathing when, when I'm asleep. And since switching to the biphasic cuirass, I haven't had issues with you know my lungs getting holes in it. Um, things like pneumonia and mucus have greatly decreased, uh, especially with the use of the, the vibration mode. Um, I've had other companies have done things like the vibration and cough mode, but they're really limited um, in how they go about using it. They don't use pressures to hold your lungs open. So it gets really uncomfortable, especially when you get mucus. So I would end up actually not really using the device um, but when I switched to the, the biphasic cuirass, it opened up this, this whole other technique of keeping me open and allowing me to get stuff up um, without being, you know, n uh, you know, just kind of nervous and frantic when I would get mucus in my lungs. So it kind of relieved a lot of the, the stress of having breathing issues and just let me kind of be more of a regular person. But the main drawback with the tracheostomy is that it's just not the way we breathe. It's forcing air into you rather than just letting you breathe passively. And so when you have a lot of the air coming into you, you get things like mucus buildup. You get a lot of infections that you normally wouldn't have to deal with. And so over this about six year period that I had the trach, you know, I was dealing a lot with pneumonias. I was dealing a lot with just small infections of the incision site and just the daily wear and tear of it. When I switched over to the biphasic cuirass, you know, I didn't have any of those issues. My throat was normal and a lot of the sicknesses I would get, you know, the pneumonia, colds, flus, weren't either happening as much or they were not as intense, you know, they would be more just like a, a regular person would have. With the BiPAP, it's kind of like the trach where it's pushing air into you. And while it can work with, you know, things like sleep apnea, for people like me that have just severe lung problems, it's not at all ideal because it's putting air into you in a way that you don't breathe normally like. So it just, it can, it's really unintuitive and uncomfortable. With the BiPAP as well as the trach, one of the major drawbacks is that you, you can't really communicate. Uh, with a trach, typically uh, you'll have a little balloon in your throat area that will seal off your mouth and nose. 
um, just so the air goes directly into your lungs. And with the BiPAP, you obviously have a face mask. And both can get really claustrophobic feeling, uh, mainly because you know it's pushing air into you and it's not how your body was designed to breathe. As well as it makes it really hard just to communicate with people. You can't have a conversation when you're hooked up with the machine. And so it can, both machines can start to feel pretty isolating. But one of the advantages of the Curass is that the plastic it's used is pretty flexible. And so even a person like me with uh, pretty severe scoliosis is able to wear just a standard Curass. Um, it, it molds pretty well to the body and so you don't typically have to worry about you know severe abrasion and things like that you, that you would encounter actually with things like the BiPAP. Uh, BiPAP face masks they use mainly plastics and silicones uh, that touch the skin and so what you will get a lot is really severe breakdowns of you know your nose and your mouth area um, and it just that opens up a huge can of worms for infections. So one of the drawbacks to BiPAP that I, you know, encountered over and over again were because I needed higher pressures um, to breathe at night, I would get a lot of air into my stomach. And it's something that no one really told me about until I started experiencing uh, the BiPAP myself. And it's extremely uncomfortable. You get a lot of just air build up in your stomach uh, and you can, do, you know, you can have a lot of issues around that with, you know, acid reflux and just the dangers of attempting to sleep and ha after eating and um, it can just be a pretty dangerous um, and it's something you don't really need to deal with uh, when you're on the biphasic cure -ass.